We are going to discuss series circuits. When a number of resistors are connected in end-to-end -end manner, then the resistors are called connected in series. Here, this right end of R1 is connected to left end of R2. Again, the right end of R2 is connected to left end of R3. Now, we can say these resistors are connected in series. Voltage V is connected across the resistors R1, R2, and R3. The current drawn from the battery is I. This current gets only one path through R1, R2, and R3. Say, voltage drop due to this current I. Across R1 is V1, across R2 is V2, and across R3 is V3. Therefore, V1 equals I dot R1, V2 equals I dot R2, and V3 equals I dot R3. Now, as per laws of circuit theory, entire voltage V applied to the circuit is equal to the sum of the voltage drops across individual resistor. That means V equals V1 plus V2 plus V3 equals equals I dot R1 plus I dot R2 plus I dot R3 say this is equation 1. Now we consider the equivalent resistance of this series combined resistors is R so, at that case, entire supply voltage will drop across this single equivalent resistor of the system. That means, in this case, V equals I dot R. Say this is equation 2. From equations 1 and 2, we get I dot R equals I dot R1 plus I dot R2 plus I dot R3. Cancelling I from both sides of the equations, we get R equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. From this equation, we can say equivalent resistance of the series connected resistors is nothing but simple sum of resistance of individual resistor. Instead of 3, if we connect any number of resistors in series, we can write this equation as R equals R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus dot 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 plus rn where n is the total number of resistors connected in series hope you got a basic idea thank you